Why? It's a bed, not a table. Why might we be on a bed and not a table? Well, one of the reasons is the table is as messy as everything is in my house normally, and I haven't really set up for doing videos, but I've been out. And I've got a bag that's full of things, lots of things. Some of the things make more sense, though, if I show the other thing. Yes, I've been to the car boot sale today, and purchases have been made. I spent maybe around 45-ish pounds and collected a series of interesting objects, um, which I'm looking quite forward to going through now I'm at home, and since the bed is available, I'll use it. So let's start with this. This was the last thing I brought, outside of bird food, which doesn't count, and that's because it is a MyCam, and as you know, I am a camcorder enthusiast, and do rather enjoy using camcorders. So, you know, we've got all the bits and pieces with it. Um, I have briefly tested it, and it does appear to actually be a functional camcorder, which is fantastic. Have a look at the instruction manual, which we've got right here. Happy filming. It's a very small thing. Um, you know, this is, um, this is a weird one, because this is Samsung. And I don't really know how much Samsung got into the game of making camcorders in the uh, Video 8 series. This is uh, a Video 8. Um, I've had no luck buying video eights. I've brought about six of them and none of them have ever worked. Uh, but this one does appear to actually function as a video camera, which is fantastic. If I just uh, eat this into here, you know, here's the camcorder. If I uh, was to press the eject button, The, uh, the springs have about gone on this, so you have to pull that out, but it does actually function. Uh, there is a problem with the head. It's basically jarring against something and causing a large rubbing effect, which means it needs some form of work. But the fact the camcorder works is fantastic, and we will need this to demonstrate things later. And this cost me a pricely £12. He wanted 15 for it, but I got it for 12 so uh, can't fault it. Which way did this go? That way? I don't know. I've not actually taken the battery off. There we go, so the battery's come off. Takes a fairly standard-looking two-prong there, which I think I've got some spares off. So, yes, I've got a video eight, which means this needs to go to tropical birdland. But, yes, I'll um, dump those over there for the moment in time. I'm going to need that later. Let's crack on with the bag. And we've got things in both compartments here, the small compartment and the large compartment. So I've sort of taken in turns to take bits and pieces out of each compartment. So we're going to start with... Oh, I didn't bring batteries for this. Oh, well, with these... Who remembers these bloody things, Unilite? You see them fairly frequently. I had a pair as a kid. They are absolutely the most useless things in the known universe. They really are absolutely god-awful. But I saw a pair and they cost me a whole pound coin. So I thought, I'm going to buy that for a pound. And I brought it for a pound and they're probably going to go in the bin later. Mm, let me actually just uh, eat everything out of the bag. So here, I probably should have done this beforehand, but you know, I didn't. I've got a wide selection of bits and pieces today, to be fair. I kind of attempted to buy um, large selections of whatnot hoo-ha ding-dongs. And let's move on to this one. This is another camera accessory, but it's an old camera accessory. It's a microphone using a five-pin connector. Uh, these appear on the very old camcorders. We're talking early 80s, uh, late 70s, and um, certain devices that accept these inputs. Uh, I don't have any camcorders that use this input, and this microphone cost me a pricely £2. So I thought it was worth it. It's very similar to the um, one I've got for the uh, Ferguson, whatever it is. It's JCV G7, like the 1977 camera. It's basically the same one, just with a different hookup. I have no idea if it works, but it was £2, so that can go over there with the camcorder stuff. God, everything I've got is almost, almost everything I've got is camcorder stuff. But this is not camcorder stuff. This is some weird tin plate carriage that I brought with a mechanism that works. Probably lead, probably poisoning myself. It's, uh, it's got that 1950s, 1960s tin plate folded tab sort of thing. It's not actually in terrible nick. You open it up, get rid of the, the little bit of rust, maybe give it a bit of a repaint sort the interior out. That'd be quite a nice little thing. Don't know why I brought it. I think it was because it was a pound coin. And pound coins are fairly not expensive. Right, is there anything else in the bag? No, that's everything out of the bag. Let's look at... Ooh, this device. Mmm, looks like a camcorder, right? Looks like a camcorder. It's got a battery compartment. 
Got on the front, looks terrible. It's got 300K pixels, USB. This is a digital camera. I actually thought this was a camcorder when I brought it. Um, there we go, he moves to the other side. Takes two AA batteries, which I'm pretty sure I did actually bring up with me this time. Um, don't actually know if this works. I said it's a digital camera. I thought it was a camcorder, but I had another quick look, and you can see it's a digital camera. So we'll open it up, and as you can see, it's uh, got a viewpoint and a tiny screen here. There we go. Hi, zero photos. So I assume you just, uh, yeah, that's it. You just take photos and it records. I wonder how many you can get on here. You know what, I don't care. It's probably absolutely dreadful card camcorder. I actually, um, when I first started making frame by frame animations, I used a camera very similar to one of those to make my first animations. And they were as dreadful as you think they were. Also, I got burnt. Yay, sunburn. Right, let's have a look at this. It's James, I think. I'm going to say it's James. Come on, focus on James. There, come on, there he is. Look at him, he's number five. Look at his face. Oh! I'm a train, I am. Choo choo! Cost me 50 pence, not the end of the world. That camera cost me a pound, by the way. That was way too expensive. Right, camcorder accessories. Here we have a Ross Universal Video Light, the RCA 10. These are useful with older camcorders. Oh, wow, I haven't actually had this out of the box. These are useful with older camcorders simply because you need lighting uh, a lot of the time because. Uh, they really, unlike phones, they don't work well in low light. I mean, phones don't work well in low light, but cameras really don't. And it's actually got a full-on battery clip terminal at the back, which I did not realise. Which means I'm going to have to look up the kind of battery that this works with. The battery can be charged remote from the light by using appropriate battery charge. Alternatively, attach a battery to the back of the light to connect an appropriate 6-volt AC adapter into charging jack. Plug the jack into the main and charge for approximately. So does this thing have an internal built? No, this battery must be charged before use. So this has been used and the battery has potentially been lost. If that's meant to be the battery. Or it's got an internal jack here that you put a 6 volt into and it charges an internal battery. Battery video light. I don't know. It's giving me a load of um, battery numbers references here i don't know i have no idea if that works but if it does that's great because this uh, these things sort of um yeet onto the front of cameras uh been a good day for camcorders for me actually yeet onto the front of camcorders like that and it gives your camcorder uh, a light source and a ridiculous look but that's what that's for so that's um i, I besides that cost me a pound I was actually talking to the guy and it was written it was 50 pence and went up to a pound when he realised I actually wanted it and wasn't taking the mic. Um, I want to uh, detach how to operate battery. Insert halogen lamp to lamp socket. Oh, I hope there's a lamp in there. It doesn't actually look like there's a lamp in there. Oh, wait, no, this, that, that, yeah, the, the lamp is in there. Um, the lamp is in there. It doesn't look like it's got an internal battery, so it's going to need a battery to operate off of. So I'm going to have to go looking through my collection of batteries to see if I can find one. That's... Hang on. Looking through uh, my things, I realise I've got this Panasonic lens, which um, does not fit the camera, unfortunately. Uh, I don't have a single camera that uses this lens, and it's very, very annoying. Got the old Ferguson video camera battery out. Not even close. So, uh, I haven't got a battery without pulling down more camcorders or going downstairs and looking through storage, which I'm not willing to do right now. So, there's a Ross thing. Oh, I zoomed in. That was a mistake. It doesn't work because I haven't got a battery for it, which is a shame, but uh, I'll look into that because they're useful to have. Let's carry on with the cocaine of crap, and we're going to look at this. I'm actually really excited about this. I have no idea if it works, simply because I, I don't have the charger for it. I'm actually uh, attempting to acquire the charger and hence another one of these, as they're quite cheap. Um, it's a compact iPad handheld computer, 1996 to 2001, somewhere in that region, XP. Um, you know, when handheld computers were cool. No idea if it works, not got its style, it's got a little bit of styrofoam in the Wi-Fi card, and I don't have a charger for it. But it cost a pound, and if it works, that's pretty cool. I can carry it around and go, look at me, I'm so up to date with the times. It was the same price as that. It probably came out at about the same time, and it was the same damn price. God, the world is weird. 
Right, I'm actually kind of running out of bits and pieces here, so let's have a look at this. I'm quite curious about this device. This is the Cobra Traveral Portable Answering and Dictation System. Now, this is a thing from a different age. You young whippersnappers might, might not remember having to use mobile um, uh, voice answering machines. However, having a voice answering machine was the most amazing feeling in the world. Oh, there's a Minola over there. Hang on. It's still the wrong battery! Also, the Minola C1E, I've owned five of them and none of them work. Ah! Anyway, the Cobra Traveller, portable answering and dictation machine. This cost me two whole pounds. Portable answering system, used in hotels, at home and in the office. Portable dictation system, for letters, reminders, notes and more. Alarm, to awake or as a time reminder. And compact size, it fits into a briefcase. Well, I still use a briefcase, so it's very relevant. Yeah, as you can see, it's uh, being there in a... Dictate letters and look, he's getting on an aeroplane here and he's dictating how much he hates aeroplanes and how it's not the future of travel. Boats are. And here it fits into a briefcase and we can test this actually. Yes. Yes, important briefcase. It does fit into a briefcase. Hello, Vardy. And finally, connect to your hotel so callers can leave important messages. And here's a rundown of what it says on the back. You know, it's a uh, traveller things we've already heard. The device itself, I no idea if it works, so we're going to find out in a minute. Um, it takes batteries of some form. I don't know what form. We'll find out, you know. Back in the day, this was probably quite expensive. Look, it's all there. Ooh, that's a very, very modern-looking power brick. I don't think this is the original power brick that came with this device. But here it is. Uh, what do we take? Three triple A's. Use coin to open. Oh, gosh, do I have a coin? You know, I've been to the car because I don't have a coin. Oh, well, let's, let's, um, let's see. It's not doing anything. Okay, I'm going to uh, just grab this. And, uh, yeah, this is um, not the original power jack for certain. Hmm. Does this even have a power jack? Yeah, it's got a DC 9 volt. So DC 9 volt, plug in there. Oh, no. I don't know if this is going to reach the power socket. Oh, this is poorly planned. Poorly planned, YouTube. Oh, no. Ah. There we go. Oh. Hang on. Let me just... Uh... Oh, no. It will ruin the secrets. There we go. I will hide the secrets. There we go. The secrets have been hidden. Aha. There we go. Okay. So, here it is. The Cobra travel device. It turned on. No problem. Um, Play me a message. Okay, that was a message. Play me another message. Okay, no messages there. Yes, go back. Go back. I want to hear a phone call message from the late 80s telling me that the deal's fallen through and your wife is divorcing you. Really? Is there going to be nothing on here? There's going to be nothing on here, is there? Okay, power, dictation, ring select, OMG. OMG, this device is just so good. How do I... Where's the eject button? Okay, I'll tell you what, let's... Uh... Margaret! Margaret! Have you spoken to Peter about getting that deal put through yet? This is very important. Failure to do this will result in your wife leaving you and taking the kids as well as all of your popularity and the Ferrari. Margaret! Because, you know, child-friendly here on YouTube. Close enough. Margaret? Margaret? Have you spoken to Peter about getting that deal put through yet? This is very important. Failure to do this will result in your wife leaving you and taking the kids as well as all of your popularity and the Ferrari. Margaret! Heard that. Okay, so it works. You know, you can't fault it. It works. There's the tape. Oh! 
Okay, we've got a load of extra buttons, and it's an original Cobra. It's an original Cobra micro cassette. Um, we've got a load of buttons here. I don't know what these do. I don't really care. I'm not going to look into it, but the device works. And for £2, that's not actually god-awful. I could have some fun with that at a convention. Um, you know, I, I could actually have some fun with that. So well done, Cobra. Your device, even though it's horrifically outdated, as in 20 years outdated, is still pretty darn cool. Motion sickness, motion sickness, motion sickness, motion sickness. Da -da -da -da. Right, we're running out of time now. I'm running out of things. So let's crack on. Two more accessories. I brought one just because I could, and the other one I brought because it's a weird camera accessory, and they're both the same thing. So here you go. Here's a Radio Shack FM wireless video camera microphone system. Wait, I didn't realise. What? I did not read that. Wait, what? Radio Shack FM wireless video camera microphone system. It's not even in shot. I did not read that. I just brought this for shiz and gigs. FM wireless video camera microphone system. So these two things do go together. They are... Whoa. Holy moly. Oh, wait, really? I thought this was a radio. I thought this was a radio plug on top to get things. I only grabbed them both for the hell of it, but a wireless microphone phone receiver. Holy crap. Whoa! I am really excited to hear that. What what kind of batteries do they take? Um, they take. Oh wow! Oh my god! Oh no! I'm not even taking them. I didn't realise that's what these were. I was I was like, oh, it's a radio. It's a completely pointless thing. But no, this is this is amazing, and I love it. Oh my god! Okay, you know what? I've got a. I think I've got some of these batteries spared. I'm going to go find batteries because I want to play with those. So we've got a pair of official Kodak heavy-duty three-year guarantee uh, batteries here. Um, well, no, I, if, I would have messed around with this off-camera if I'd known beforehand, but I am genuinely, surprisingly excited to have this because this is super amazing as far as I care. Please. It's flicking in a way that says the battery is probably dead. Okay, that one. Hmm. 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 Is it dead? Nope, that's definitely very alive. Uh, that's got a little bit of corrosion on the connections, but nothing that can't be cleaned off with a bit of vinegar. Okay, let's plug this one in. Uh, I said, let's, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, okay. This is literally, oh gosh, really? Oh no. So, uh, yeah, what's happened is this one has um, physically broken itself off. Has that one done it too? No, that one is correct. I want this to work so badly, I'm willing to re-plug this one back in. In fact, it's... Let's try the other one. The batteries, they're not flat for certain, but uh, I, I said I didn't realize that's what they were and the fact that they are this, this is, I said that's something that probably needs opening up and looking at. Um, I'm actually willing to work on getting these working because holy crap, I did not realize what these were. Um, and now I know I am super excited because this is great, okay. This one is also flashing in a way that states no. I'm going to have to look into these. These are Obviously, these are Radio Shack. You know, they're not uh, the top quality, top notch, best equipment you've ever seen. But I have them. I know what they are now. I thought it was just a radio to play music into your camera. I did not realise, I didn't even look at these. I just kind of picked them and said, oh, great, I'll send these to Dank Pods. You can blow them up. Hell no, you ain't blowing up my Radio Shack wireless microphone. Actually, no, you can probably blow these up, to be fair. Actually, no, this is just a single earphone, so you can physically listen to what's going on. Oh, man. Oh, man, I hope I can get these working. So the batteries, it, might just, it just might not like the batteries. That might literally be it. It might just not light the batteries. Or it cooked. You know, that's always also a possibility. But we spent plenty of time on this. So you can see what these are. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to spend most of the afternoon fiddling with those, I think, to uh, figure them out. Because I'm really, really excited. And we've got a couple of uh, Radio Shack quality 
batteries to add to our collection of random batteries that I have accumulated. I wonder how dead these are. Dare I lick it? They are deader than my love life. Right. We're almost done. 20 minutes in. We're uh, getting on to the last couple of objects. So we've got two things left. Let's go through this tub. I can't believe it's not butter. Light. It's a box of train things. Um, I actually picked it up originally because it had these uh, fish plates. Because um, it was... You know, fish plates, you need these to connect the rails. These are brand new. Um, you know, it was 150 a jar or £4 for all four. And when I asked, it was £4 for the entire box. And this includes um, resistors, which are great. You've got some Gauge Master lighting controls here. You've got a, a colour chart, which is great. You know, we've got a front bogey for a locomotive. Always nice to have spares. With This was one of the other ones I was going to grab. This is full of um, couplings. Spare end couplings and links and connections and so forth, which was really good. You know, for £4, this is a really, really good thing. And we've got a selection of uh, cogs and bits and pieces and nothing particularly interesting. But again, there's a few more connections and couplings. There's some mainline ones in there and uh, some plastic things. Plus, we had some uh, rail switches. Here you go. 150 each or £4 a lot. Turns out it was his brother-in-law's collection and uh, this is what was left. I don't actually know what these are. They're rail connectors, but I don't know how they work. But I have more of them to play with now, which is great. Mmm. I mean, actually, it's going to be something along the lines of this goes in here. And, you know, yeah, it's going to be something along those lines there. But that was, um, for me, that was a fantastic box for £4. He had some other bits and pieces, but nothing I was interested in. And let's finish off now with a selection of micro machines. Yes, fuck you. It's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. These are all 2002, they're not old. It's a terrifying thing. I mean, that, it's a bird. I like birds. And it's a terrible thing. And that draws a close to our car boot extravaganza of buying crap. Why did this take 21 minutes? Well, at the end of the day, I had a really good day. And oh, those cars were 50 pence in each incidentally um i had a really good day and have thoroughly enjoyed myself and i have a project to work on all afternoon so with that i'm going to leave you to it have a lovely day i still don't know when i'm going to get back to making things normally because i am still quite busy unfortunately but uh, i really wanted to go through this so i could actually play with the things themselves so i'm going to go play with stuff now if you like what you see don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm going to have pizza play with these and i'll catch you on the flip side <laughs>